Hello and welcome back to another adventure. On today's adventure, we're going to be opening some Pokemon blister packs. But not just any blister packs. We're going to be opening up two blister art sets of Silver Tempest. I still haven't pulled a Lugia V Altar out of this set. I really want to. And as you guys know, Lugia Vs have went significantly up in value uh, considering their playability in the actual TCG. So without further ado, let's skip all the BS and get into these packs. Really excited to open more of these. I love Silver Tempest. I don't know why people hate on Silver Tempest so much. I think it's a pretty good set. I think it's uh, probably a pretty underrated set in my opinion. I think it does pretty well, Quad Stone, Reactive Energy, Swirlix, but you know, I mean, some people don't like it because there's not really that many cards to pull out of it. It's just the Lugia V Altar, not really anything else crazy. Uh, that's really cool artwork-wise, which is, I, I think, probably why it's not the greatest set in people's eyes because there's not too many cards to pull. Whereas, like, let's look at Shiny or Pouty and Fates, for example. It has a lot of cards people want to pull, but this one, this one doesn't really have any of that. Oh, another white code card not necessarily a great sign for sword and shield packs Matang, Feebas, Fenkin, Spurak, Beldum, Krogunk, Morpeko Reverse, and Armadalo. Armaldo I think is called Armaldo. Let's see if uh, this one is gonna give us a hit. I mean we didn't get I don't think we got hit last time we opened this. I think we got like what one hit? We got like maybe one hit out of these packs last time we opened them on the channel. Well, we got a V-Star marker, probably the worst thing you can get out of these packs. Nobody really wants a V-Star marker. Gym Trainers, Curlia, Venomoth, Dratini, Shinchu, Metatite, Deuce Bit, Piter, Pon Ponia, Sojourner, and uh, Colibalion. Oh, shoot. All these packs already, no hits, guys, no hits. We're looking for those hits. Can Sword and Shield give us our Pokemon luck back, or is it just going to take it? Looks like it's going to take it away. Looking at all these white code cards we're getting. Looks like we're not going to be pulling anything today. Fighting Chance, maybe? Cook Rope, we got Honorith, we got Meowstic, Relicanth, we got Holuka, Rufflet, Vulpix, Drowsy, Magnemus, and Novarin. Oh man, still no hit, guys. Two more packs, two more packs. Never give up to the last pack, guys. Remember, never give up to last pack magic. You never know. Could be last pack magic, could be last pack tragic, but you never know. So you never give up till the last pack because you never want to jinx yourself and then never get a pull because you didn't believe in that last pack magic. Professor Leviton, Maureen, Miss Drivius, Swablu, Swirlix. Rotom, Victini Reverse, and ooh, Superior V-Star. See, never give up. White coat cards still got a hit, guys. That's what we're talking about here on the channel right there. White coat cards still getting hits. Only one hit so far the video, but hey. Better than nothing, let's be honest. Better than getting a zero hits in the video. I don't even think, I think that card's like maybe $1.20 or something. It's not, not a crazy card. We got a Water Energy. Curlia, Venomoth, Wallace, Drowsy, Growlithe, Mistrevious, Wilmer, Murkrow, uh, Zerora, Reverse, and ooh, Gate Bog. I don't even know what that is. It's like a, that's a trainer card, but I don't know if that's a great card in a set, but that's still a really good hit. See, last pack, Magic Guys, never give up to the last pack. And guess what? You thought that was it? No. We have a special pack. I'm opening a dollar store. I bought this at a dollar store. I bought one Temporal Forces blister pack from the dollar store. Yes, it's $5 still at the dollar store, which honestly, in my opinion, pretty expensive for a Pokemon TCG pack for $5, especially a Scarlet Violet pack, unless it's like 151 or Cotty and Fates. I don't really see the pack being worth $5, but I haven't opened much Temple of Forces, and maybe, just maybe, we can pull the Ghastly out of here, or the Gengar Full Art. Who knows? But we got a Psychic Energy, so that could be a good chance. We got a Metatite, we got a Tornador, we got a Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Demise, Electivire, Sincino, 
Salvatore reverse. Ooh, charge a bug. Full art. Look at that. That is so cute. That is a nice card to pull. And a Whimsicott regular hollow. So we did end up getting a pull out of that Temporal Forces pack as well. So that is three hits out of, I believe, seven packs this video, which is pretty good. Again, don't think the greatest hits that are out there for these packs, but still definitely awesome pack opening today. And I always like to like always, guys, if you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button with the bell for notification to be notified when new videos come out. Like this video and share it with your friends and comment down below your favorite card we pulled in today's video. And without further ado, thank you for guys for joining me on this adventure and I'll see you on the next one.